Hi, this is Aurora from SuperchargedMath.com. Now, if you're having a hard time with math, you're in the right place because this is where we take the challenging um, math concepts and we make them easy. So if you want to learn math the easy way, just visit SuperchargedMath.com. Okay, let's get started. All right, so triangles. How many sides does a triangle have? Everyone shout it out. Yeah, that's right, three. Okay, beautiful. So triangles are polygons. Polygon um, is uh, a shape that we're going to be working with in geometry. So triangles are polygons with three vertices and three sides. Any kind of triangles you want, just make sure they qualify as a triangle. The shape has to be closed. Okay, draw me your favorite kind of triangle. Equilateral, scalene, obtuse, any of those. Draw lots of triangles. Lots of triangles. Okay, you got it? <clears throat> I know, sorry about that. Let me get a drink of water. All right, somebody's asking, what's a polygon? A polygon is a, a figure, two-dimensional figure, that has at least three straight sides and three angles. Um, most people, when they talk about triangles, they don't think of it as a polygon. <laughs> Usually they mean like something has five or more, uh, five or more like a hexagon, or a septagon or octagon, most people think of those as polygons. Um, a circle is not a polygon because it doesn't have any um, points and it doesn't have any straight sides. Okay, um, when you sum all the angles in a triangle, you get 180. So that's half of what it was in a quadrilateral. That's interesting. Okay, so what shape do you see here with my yellow marker? What shape am I drawing with the yellow marker? Not a triangle, what shape? It's the same side length on all four sides. What shape is that? That's a square, good. All right, a square is a special kind of rectangle. Now, the area of a triangle, you can think of it as having half the area of a rectangle. Now, how does that work? All right, so this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The area of the rectangle here it should be four times four, which is 16. But I only want the triangle, so it's like I drew a line from here to here. That's how we get our triangle. So the area, that's where the one half comes from here. It's one half, the base, times the height. So what's the base? Well, we can't see them under here, but I can extend the lines if you want me to. Is that better? So it's one, two, three, four units for the base. The height is one, two, three. Better draw right on top of it. There we go. So it's one, two, three, four for the height. So the area is going to be, don't forget the one half. One half base, four, and the height is four. Four times four is 16 divided by two is eight, and it's units squared. All right. Most mistakes are made because you forget the half. Okay? And it, if that's the case, then you're just finding the area of the, the whole thing, so you'll get too much. Now, before we move on to the next example, I just want to share something for parents who see their child as being overwhelmed with math, but they're not quite sure what to do about it. Now, in the video that we're watching right now, your child is learning math in a much more natural way that fits with how they think. And if this is working for them so far, I'd like to invite both you and your child to join me for a free online class that they can learn math like this, just like we're doing in the video. To register to the, for this class at no charge, just click the link below in the descriptions or it's also in the comments. Or you can simply go to getmath.net slash class. Getmath.net slash class. All right, let's continue. Good. Okay, so let's try some real examples. Let's try some real examples. Okay, so the base is here of our triangle. It's what it's sitting on. Okay, so the base is gonna be 10 inches. Which one is the height? Remember your parallelogram. The height that we use for a triangle has to be a line drawn perpendicular to the base, and it has to go to the highest point on the triangle. That's the definition of a height of a triangle. So 15 inches, that's our slant height, or in this case, a hypotenuse. Well, no, it's not the hypotenuse. It's, um, it's just, think of it as a slant height. Okay, it's the orange line that we want. The orange line is 12 inches. So my area is 1 half times the base, which is 10, times the height, which is 12. 
So half of, let's see, half of 12 is 6. 6 times 10 is 6 inches squared. How are we doing with that? Okay. Okay. So now let's find the area of this shape. Okay, you tell me what is the base and what is the height. Well, I write this down. Which one's the base? And the base is going to be that one right there. So we're going to write seven centimeters. Okay. You get an extra point today if you can tell me which one is the height. Do we want five or do we want four? Careful. Good. I'm seeing it. All right. We want the line that comes up from the base at a 90 degree angle. Okay, this comes up from the base, but it's not 90, okay? So 90 degree angle, so perpendicular. So again, it's a square corner. Okay, it comes up and touches the highest point on the triangle. So that's going to be four centimeters. Good. Area is one half. Oh, wait a minute, I'm writing the answer. Sorry, not writing it again. <laughs> Let me erase that. Okay, so four divided by two is two. Two times seven is Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So my area is 14 centimeters squared. How are we feeling about this? Feeling pretty good? Good. All right. Now, is your child overwhelmed and frustrated with learning decimals? If so, I think I can help. See, I teach math to kids in a way that flows naturally with how they learn, so they find it way easier and even have fun with it. Now, if your kids have struggled with decimals before, I'd like to invite you and your kids to join me for a free online class where they will learn more math just like they did in this video. You can register at no charge simply by going to getmath.net slash class.